Imagine being chained in a dark cave with no knowledge of the outside world. This is the premise of Plato's allegory of the cave. Here the cave is more than a simple dwelling, it's a metaphor for the human condition. The prisoners, confined and bound, have never seen the world outside. They are unaware of the sun, the trees, or the wide expanse of the sky. All they know is the darkness of the cave and the shadows that dance on its walls. These shadows are the prisoners' reality. They are the echoes of a world they cannot see, a world they cannot comprehend. They are the illusions that the prisoners accept as truth. It's a stark depiction of human ignorance, isn't it? The cave, the chains, the shadows, they all symbolize our limitations and misconceptions. Bound by their ignorance, these prisoners live in a world of illusions, oblivious to the truth that lies beyond the cave. What happens when one prisoner breaks free from the chains? Imagine the courage it takes to break free, to step away from the familiar, into the unknown. Our freed prisoner embarks on a journey towards the cave's exit, swapping the comforting darkness for a harsh, blinding light. An initial struggle ensues as his eyes recoil, unaccustomed to the brilliance of the outside world. Yet, as his sight adjusts, a profound transformation occurs. He begins to distinguish real objects from the mere shadows he had known. Trees, rivers, and the sun replace the puppet shadows that once formed his reality. The prisoner experiences a startling revelation, the realization of a world that exists beyond the cave, a world of knowledge, truth, and enlightenment. This journey mirrors our own pursuit of understanding, our yearning to escape the shadows of ignorance, to step out into the light of knowledge. The freed prisoner experiences a profound transformation, coming to understand the vast difference between his previous world of shadows and his new world of reality. But what happens when the enlightened prisoner returns to the cave? Let's imagine this scenario. The freed prisoner, now enlightened, returns to the shadows of the cave. His vision, once adapted to the sun's brilliant light, now struggles with the cave's darkness. He attempts to share his newfound knowledge, to tell his fellow prisoners of the world beyond the shadows. However, his words meet resistance and disbelief. His fellow captives, entrenched in their familiar reality, reject the notion of a world beyond the cave. They can't comprehend a reality they haven't seen or experienced. This resistance symbolizes the human tendency to reject unfamiliar truths, to cling to the familiar, the comfortable. It's not an easy task to break free from long-held beliefs and perspectives, to step out of the cave and into the light. This resistance to enlightenment is a stark reminder of how often we prefer to remain within our comfort zones, even when faced with the truth. So, what does Plato's allegory of the cave tell us about our own lives? Well, it's a profound metaphor for our journey from ignorance to knowledge. It's about challenging our preconceived notions and pushing boundaries. Let's break it down. Imagine reality as the cave and we are the prisoners, shackled by our lack of knowledge. The shadows on the wall? Those are the perceptions we've been conditioned to accept, the half-truths that we've mistaken for the whole picture. The journey out of the cave? That's our quest for enlightenment, our pursuit of knowledge. It's a voyage that takes courage, curiosity, and a willingness to question everything we've been told. But Plato's allegory doesn't just stop at the personal level, it extends to society as a whole. It's a critique of our collective unwillingness to question the status quo. It's a call to action for us to seek out knowledge, to challenge our perceptions, and to not be afraid of the unknown. And what about the prisoner who returns to the cave? He symbolizes those who have gained knowledge and now bear the responsibility to educate others. It's a reminder that enlightenment is not just a personal journey, but a collective one. In essence, Plato's allegory of the cave is a timeless reminder that reality is often much more than what we perceive it to be. It's a call to action for us to question, to seek, and to learn. It's a challenge to break free from the chains of ignorance and step into the light of knowledge. Now it's your turn to step into the light. Imagine yourself as a philosopher in the era of Plato. Would you stand by his side embracing the allegory of the cave, or would you challenge his theories? There is no right or wrong answer, only perspectives shaped by our unique experiences. So, let's foster an environment where diverse thoughts thrive. Join the conversation and share your thoughts on Plato's allegory of the cave. If you were a philosopher in Plato's time, how would you challenge or support his ideas? Remember, the cave is as vast as your thoughts allow it to be. 